the Susquehanna, meaning muddy river in the native language of the Susquehannock. It's one of the oldest and longest rivers on the East Coast, starting in New York, running through Pennsylvania and Maryland until it reaches the Chesapeake Bay. But before you hit the bay, you must cross the Conowingo Dam. Conowingo, meaning at the rapids, was a small town between Baltimore, Maryland, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In the 20s, when the demand for electricity grew, this was the perfect place to generate it. The town's major bridge, which stood during the Civil War, was rigged to blow to make room for the water that would power the dam. So in 1926, the bridge fell to a watery resting place at the bottom of the Susquehanna, and construction began. First, they removed bedrock from the river, making room for the massive structure. Hundreds of men worked in crews on the project. Over 20 lost their lives doing so. They poured nearly 700,000 cubic yards of concrete for the structure, which stands 94 feet high and a mile across. Building from the riverbanks towards the center, bridging the gap between Hartford and Cecil counties with a highway on its deck. When the pieces met in the middle, work was complete for a total of $52 million in 1928. But how do you harness the power of a river and turn it into electricity? The technology remains the same. Few minor electrical upgrades have made changing valves much smoother and faster. As water flows down the river towards the dam, it is funneled into the penstock, pushing the blades of the water wheel as it enters the scroll case. From there, it applies equal pressure on the water wheel which when in motion creates electricity in the generator above. When water levels rise and cannot be pumped out fast enough through the penstock, crest gates on the deck can be opened to let the excess water flow without pouring over the highway. When the gates open, a siren alerts boaters and people downstream of a rise in water level. These sirens mean one of the floodgates is opening along the Conowingo Dam. You can see those flashing red lights on the island that is uh, warning boaters along here that more water is going to be coming over the dam. With so much pressure from the running waters, regular inspections must be done to make sure that the dam is running smoothly. Narrow hallways open up into large valves and tunnels that allow the water to flow through unobstructed. Workers go right up to the gates that hold back the river as they inspect the 27-foot tall butterfly valves housed within the walls. Much of these features look the same as the day the dam opened, including the windows that look out over the river, the rivets hammered in almost a hundred years ago, and the turbines on the main floor. But that's not all that's original at Conowingo. On the rock islands of the Susquehanna, Petroglyphs from the Susquehannock people carry on their legacy with images carved into stone. Above these rock islands is where hawks, herons, and bald eagles can be seen fishing. It is here along the dam where many bald eagles call home. But don't worry, Conowingo has made efforts to care for all its wildlife. Fish can take a ride in the Conowingo Fish Lift, which transports fish heading upstream safely over the dam so they can continue their spawning run on the other side. After 
nearly 100 years, the Conowingo Dam continues to provide energy to the surrounding areas, while doing everything in their power to preserve the historic Susquehanna, the people, and the environment which call this area home.